Oh. <laughs> Ow. Ow. You know what's better than a foot long hot dog? A three foot long hot dog, AKA a yard. Not quite a meter. I'm not metric. The yard was invented by a resident in Brooklyn, New York, who measured their backyard, which came to roughly 36 inches. Made that up. <laughs> but a foot, that makes more sense. Except Subway apparently had difficulty with that. Five dollar almost foot long, but I still won the lawsuit and Jared is probably dead. Anyway, yeah, today we're making hot dogs. Literally from scratch. I have never made a hot dog before and I will be damned if I live a long and healthy life without ever trying. So put on your strap on, your seat belts, because we're going on a journey of discovery. How is a hot dog made? What is in a hot dog? And how long can we make it? Kill the intro. Intro. So a hot dog is broken down into several steps. The seasoning, the meats, grinding the meats, grinding the meats again, and grinding the meats again. I think we can do this. So for our seasoning mixture, we're going to add onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, allspice, salt, white pepper, and celery salt. To make our hot dog the color of hot dog, we're gonna add some Maroon 5. The next most important part of the hot dog, meat, real meat. Not roadkill, not squirrel, not pets that have passed away, actual meat. In front of us we have beef, pork, and Julia. You calling me fat? No, no, it's just, well, that was recorded, <laughs> so I can't go back. <laughs> So what we're doing right now is we're just getting the meat to be of a smaller granule texture. We don't want it to be coarse. We're making a hot dog here, guys. See, folks at home, I don't cut corners. I cut meat. Going in with the fat. Ooh, yeah. So satisfying. Look at that fat. We're going in for a second grind, this time with a more finer blade. Now for the last step, we're gonna add all of our meat into our food processor. To that, we're going to add ice, one egg white going in. And then finally, that seasoning we made from earlier. Now we grind. Ooh, it's smelling like a hot dog. Wow. Now, the hot dog attachment. We are feeding on that intestinal casing ever so carefully, because we do not want this to pop. As we feed in our hot dog goo, we have to cradle it ever so gently, giving it like enough ooh inside, but letting it like slide out. So it's just like a, a very gentle process of just feeding it out and making sure that it's there's enough in it, but not too much in it, but not too little in it. That way we can keep getting it longer and longer. I was freaking out internally. So I have the voices over to externally tell you I was internally freaking out. Oh, don't hit oh. me in the face. <laughs> oh no, it, it, it was getting long. Like, I mean, I, we could have kept going. At this point I'm like, let's, let's freeze. We got to measure. Oh wait, we're definitely more than three feet now. Do you want to keep going? Did we hit our quota folks? We did. And then out of nowhere, bam, pop goes the weasel. Oh. Did we get three feet? It's exactly three feet. <laughs> it's exactly three feet. <laughs> we did it. What are the odds? All right, Julie, don't worry. Yeah, we're good. All right, so we thought about this long and hard, very long and very hard. We thought about this. I needed a long trough out of metal. I was 100% willing to craft this myself, but by golly, Amazon, is there anything you can't do? I can now cook my hot dog and give Julia a planter after we're finished. The only problem, 32 inches. We're just four inches shy of a good time. Amazon, I gotta give you kudos though. Being able to take other people's products and leave them liable for your free return policy. You're the reason my cousin can't sell TVs anymore. And I respect that. So yeah, after the hot dog is tied up and ready to go, we're going to boil it using the Amazon purchase, which offers a free return policy in 30 days. Julia, you don't really need that succulent plant thing, do you? It fits! This is going to poach for the next 10 minutes and then we will place it into the refrigerator to cool. And we will proceed with making our 32 inch long bun. Hello everybody, it is now day two on our journey of making a three foot long hot dog, also known as a yard or possibly a meter. To make our hot dog bun, we're gonna make a hot dog dough, uh, which basically goes like this. Stand mixer, flour, yeast, sugar, other stuff, mixing, other stuff, mix mix, stuff stuff, yeah, big bowl, grease, cover, rise, 
dough. Recipe details at healthyjunkfood.com. The entire website is ad-free for your convenience. No ad block required on our website. So we're ready to bake this thing, but even at an angle, we could not get it into the oven. That angle being the hypotenuse. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. As you can see, the hot dog bun is too large to fit into a standard conventional oven. We must go somewhere. Hey, how's it going? Park Pizza, everybody. Follow them on social media and comment, I love you, James. He's been a fan of healthy junk food since 2013. He knows more about me than me, and he's super handsome. Look at him go. He also had coffee and snacks that he shared with us because they just opened. He said it's okay. And gave us some bread, too. You think it would be good with a hot dog? No, but it tastes amazing. Super accommodating. So I think all we really need is like some tin foil. We just don't want it to burn when it goes in the oven because it's kind of hot. All right, guys, we're going in. We're going in deep. He also allowed us to use their pizza ovens and other tools and pizza peels and et cetera, et cetera. So we got this thing in the oven. We had to keep a careful eye on it because it's not pizza, it's bread. So we're moving it around, brushing it with water to keep it hydrated. And like two hours later, low and slow, we got our bun. It would be a JP video if I don't go through all this effort and then just cheat at the last second. <laughs> now all we got to do is go back to the house so we can do some arts and crafts time with JP. To make a three foot long hot dog tray, we're gonna do what we always do in arts and crafts time with JP. And snip, 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 measure, 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 fold, 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 label, 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 and glue, glue, glue. Next, we're going to take our giant hot dog bun and cut down the sides to resemble a New England style hot dog bun. Thoroughly brush it down with some mayonnaise to be prepared to grill both sides for texture, flavor, Lastly, we took our hot dog out of the fridge and carefully removed the hot dog's foreskin, lowering the risk of any foodborne illness or infection. Julia, what's another name for a breakfast circumcision? An oatmeal. <laughs> All right. If you like penis killadas. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go cook it. You got it? All right, guys, this is how we're gonna do it. Now, it's time to grill. Yep, I'm gonna wax this grill, I'm gonna wax this hot dog right now. Oh, now we can get it. So we'll slowly roll, we'll get some color. All right, all right, we're gonna drop the bun, babe. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at that color. It's been so helpful. Go back where you came from. This is a big mistake. I should've never made a three foot long hot dog. Okay, we got the bun. We got our, like, our trough thing. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. it's huge. This hot dog's huge. We're going to gently roll out. There you go. Oh, shh. <laughs> ha ha. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna place it right on top, and then I'm gonna open it, and it's gonna slide in. Oh, dude, that is gorgeous. Dude, four days well worth it. I'll never get those days back. Here we go. We're gonna go this side here, okay? Next, obviously, we're gonna go with mustard. Everyone at home, just so you know, I get one shot at this, so. It's so long, you never stop going. We also put ketchup on to offend anyone who's easily offended by condiments. I mean, I'm not particularly fond of pineapple on my pizza, but the amount of rage I've seen a fruit cause some people is a bit concerning. What'd you put on that pizza? Pineapple? We're no longer friends! So no one told you life was gonna be this way. I mean, I put ketchup on a steak. Wait, I mean, I put ketchup on a steak at a Denny's. You buy a steak at a Denny's? Well played, me. Enough jibber jabber, you get it. Who am I? Let's eat this thing. Here comes the choo-choo train into Julia's mouth. <laughs> Guys, let's be real. I finally did it. I finally put effort into cooking. You made a scratch recipe. Did you even make the ketchup and the mustard and the relish? Yes, off camera. So what are we gonna do with this thing? We're gonna do what we do every night. Take over the world, Pinky. He's gonna take that end, I'm gonna take this end, and then let's see if the lady in the tramp situation works for a hot dog. Chairs in front. Yep. All right. Two cups, one hot dog. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Father, for this meal that we're about to receive. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Chief, mate, what do you wanna do tonight? 
The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. All right, all right, cool up. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Three glorious feet deep inside two beautiful people. Created by the one and only P-Man himself. Made 100% from scratch. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's definitely not gonna be a common thing I do ever, but I do love a challenge. So please drop your most ridiculous request in the comments below. And just maybe you'll be the next weird thing I make while Julia does not approve. Thank you.